Hey guys, so the other day a guy asked me, hey man, how do you stay so motivated, so pumped up, so positive all the time, no matter what's going on, like you're always energized, you're always like, ah, like all the time, regardless of what's going on, whether it's bad or good, he says, I've never ever seen you down, I've never seen you at, uh, walking slow, I've always seen you upbeat, going, 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 and he says, man, how do you do that? So in this video, I'm going to answer that question. So the first thing that I can definitely tell you I do is I try to keep a positive mindset. I do everything I possibly can to keep a positive mindset regardless of what's going on. And the way that I do that is by focusing on the positives no matter what the situation is. So if it's a negative situation, I take the time to figure out what positives can I see from this? What can I learn from this? What can I make of this? Because every negative thing that happens in your life or a setback, it's only there to basically push you forward and help you be better if you take the lesson from it and you don't focus on the, oh my gosh, what was me? Look at what's happening to me. Get out of here with all that. Listen, I focus on keeping a positive mindset. And one of the next things I do is I always listen to upbeat, uplifting, powerful, strong, powered up music something that keeps me in the right mind because there are days like everyone that we wake up what you would consider as on the wrong side of the bed or not feeling the best or not wanting to get up out of bed and I have those days as well but I put on some music I get going I get moving and I get that blood flowing and I get rolling through my day regardless of what's going on so listen to the right music that will help sit you in the right position in your mind so you can move forward through any obstacle or anything that's trying to hold you back or any negativity that may be surrounding you at that time. Going from saying negativity or environment, we're gonna go into the next thing. The next thing is I always try to put myself in positive environments and if I'm not in a positive environment, I leave or I push the people that are being negative out of my environment because I'm the person that's the owner of my destiny. I'm the person that's the owner of my surroundings. So if you choose to be around negativity, then you will beget more negativity. Like I heard, um, if you hang around five millionaires, you'll be the sixth one. If you hang around five positive people, you will be the sixth one. And if you hang around five idiots, then you will be the sixth one. So I try to keep myself in positive environments. And if I'm not in a positive environment, either I'm gonna leave or my positivity, my energy is gonna push the people that are not positive out of my space. Because my space is like the biggest thing. Like if I'm not in a positive mindset, what can I do for my wife? What can I do for my son? What can I do for my family? Like I can't do anything for my family, but bring them down. And if a man brings a fam, if a man, the man is the head of the household. So if he brings the family down, then which way is the family supposed to go? Because they look up to him as a leader, to be the leader. And the person is actually helping the people, the, the family be greater so I have to keep myself as much as possible in a positive environment so my family's in a positive environment and they feel secure like as for me I'm the only car sales professional you'll ever need in Colorado Springs Colorado so within that being said every single day no I don't want to go to work no I don't want to make phone calls no I don't want to follow up with customers, but I do because of my why. What am I getting from this? What am I going to get from this? And it's not just the money or the income that it brings. Yes, that's great, that's good, and I love that. But also, it's a discipline that I'm that I'm building within myself to be able to stick to my plans because as a car sales professional, you're an entrepreneur. And if you don't do work, then you literally don't eat. Like, there's no salary, there's no hourly wage. No, 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 you work strictly off commission. So if you don't push yourself to be greater, if you don't push yourself to do the things that you need to do within those disciplines, then you will see yourself failing. So I'll tell you this, what you should do is if you're having an issue with staying positive, write your plan or your goals down for the next day. So even if you're not positive, even if you're not energized, even if you're not motivated, you can at least say, hey, you know what? This is my plan that I've created and I'm gonna stick to the script. I'm gonna follow through with the script, whether I have low energy or high energy, and you'll see within knocking out tasks and different agendas that you have on your list that you'll become motivated or inspired because you're like, you know what? I knocked that out. You know what? I did that too. You know what? I did that too. And it would help push you to the next level and help you keep a positive mind. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'm Jacob Abbott, the only car sales professional you'll ever need in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment.